Lamentations 5 verse 1 and it reads, Remember, O Lord, Yahweh, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. All praises, our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world even calls God. Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He delivers. Yahi, Yahweh Shai, deliver. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach one of the world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of our own lives through the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, the Akwathium, listening and learning and sincerity and truth and in silence, Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp, here in Toronto with another lesson. Right? And this cup. This cup of these curses, this cup of slavery is about to be turned on you Idumians, you Edomites, right? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the ruling class elites, Rome 2.0. Lamentations 5 verse 1 says here a prayer for mercy. Remember, O Lord Yahweh, what has come upon us, consider and behold our reproach, right? Israelites throwing up their hands prayer for mercy begin with the elect on this side right this is during the Babylonian captivity right of of, of what was taking place on Israel right during the time of the Babylonian captivity right Jeremiah But Jeremiah saw what was going on during that captivity. Verse 2. Our inheritance. Let's read this. Actually, let's read this Lamentation 5, verse 1 in the in the NLT. And it reads, Lord Yahweh, remember, remember what has happened to us. See how we have been disgraced. Right? Fallen. Disgrace. Servants have ruled over us. Right, that's in verse 8. Verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Right? Jerusalem being a people before a place. Scattered throughout the diaspora. Scattering diaspora. Right? Various captivities. Babylonian captivity. The Medio Persian uh, captivity. The Greek captivity. The Roman captivity now being the second installment of the Roman captivity, right? Our inheritance turned to strangers, our houses to aliens, it says in Luke chapter 21. Jerusalem shall be trodden down underfoot, right? No matter of fact, let's get that. Luke 21. Luke 21 verse 24, red letter, our Lord said this, Yahweh Shai, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, right, Israelites, and shall be led away captive into all nations, beginning with 70 AD, right, when uh, when the uh, Roman emperor, the Roman Caesar, Titus, surrounded Jerusalem of the Flavian dynasty, right, and Jerusalem, shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, meaning strangers shall dwell there. Right? Heathen nations shall dwell there until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Right? And when's, when, when's the times of the Gentiles going to be fulfilled? Beginning with, beginning with the missiles. Lamentations 5 verse 2 once again. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fathers, our mothers, our widows, Salaki, are as widows. 
We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us, right? In want and need of all things. We got to go to Esau, Edom. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest, right? And we're not free. We traded in the yokes of iron for paperwork, man. Taxes. Punching Esau, Edom's uh, uh, time clock. Two, three, four gigs, right? We labor and have no rest. Our necks are under persecution, right? Full in the jailhouses, the prison industrial complexes. Esau slave patrol, who are the police, constantly persecuting Jake. We labor and have no rest, right? The job, the job cycle, the nine to five, Esau's, Esau's jobs. Verse five or six, Lamentation five or six, we have given the hand of the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread, right? Spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt, America the Great. Right, we got to toil in this place. We're not here to, uh, to, to, to excel. All right, let's read this in the NLT. NLT, we submitted to Egypt and Assyria, America, to get enough food to survive. Right? Still in subjection. Verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Verse 8. Here's the point. Servants have ruled over us. Right? These other nations, beginning with Esau, Edom, have ruled up over us. Right? Scriptures say the earth was made for our sake. That's in our uh, Lamentations. I mean, Salakia. That's in our uh, Second Ezra 5 or 6. Second Ezra 6. Around the end. Points in verse 59. Second Ezra 6 verse. Second Ezra 6 verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, right, these other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing, right, scriptures say they're reputed as nothing, as spittle. Right? Second is just, we'll read up one. Second is just six, verse 56. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, that was said that they are nothing, right? These are the nations, but be like unto spittle. And it's like in the abundance of them unto a drop that follow from a vessel, right? These are the nations, these Moabites, these Ishmaelites, these Edomites, these Hamites, these Ammonites, these Cushites. The Most High is like them as unto spittle. Right, it's only one nation that the Most High is dealing with, and and has and has chosen to be above all other nations upon the earth, the Israelites. Verse fifty-seven. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, these other nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. The Most High put us in this position. Right? We're not here to excel on this side. Captivity after captivity after captivity. It ain't no different in, in, in Rome 2.0. Given into their hands. Verse 59, here's the point. If the world now be made for our sakes. right? The most I made this, this world for our sakes. The Israelites. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right? How long shall we be in subjection? Right. How long are these servants going to rule over us, Lord? These are the nations. Lamentation 5 verse 8. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that deliver us out of their hand. None that deliver us out of their hand. 
And who's the only one who's going to deliver us out of their hand? Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Right, Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, verse 2. We'll start at 1. It says here, the greatness of the Most High. Isaiah 40, verse 1. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, Jerusalem being a people for a place. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Right? This is almost over. Right? This punishment is almost over. That her iniquity is pardoned, her sin. Iniquity being sin upon sin is pardoned, right? And when's that going to begin? When Yahweh Shai returns and delivers his elect, Lord willing, we're of that number. For she hath received of the Lord's, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins, right? And we receive double. Right? Heavy affliction. heavy pain but this cup this cup the cup of these curses the cup of these punishments the cup of servants having rule over us right it's going to be flipped and the servants are going to end up in their rightful place and the elect beginning with the elect lord willing we're of that number beginning with the elect the nation of Israel shall be a kingdom of priests. Let's get that. It's in Second Peter. Second Peter. Exodus 19 verse 6 is not the one the one I want, but it's a good one. Exodus 19 verse 6. The one I want is in Peter. And it reads, And ye shall be unto me. Salakia. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation, right? Israelites. Right? This is our first estate. A kingdom of priests and, and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, right? And uh, beginning in the kingdom. Right? Beginning in the kingdom. All things will be... We'll, we'll, we'll go back to the, the times of old, man. First Peter 2. First Peter 2 verse 9. This is the one I wanted. But ye are a chosen generation. Right, Israelites. A royal priesthood. Look at this word generation. Genos. Strong's G 1085. Genos. Genos. Strong G1085. Kindred, offspring, family, stock, tribe, nation, nationality or descent from a particular people. Right? We can close the book right there. Right? Kin. Born, countryman, individual or collective. Born, countryman, diversity, generation, kindred, nation, offspring, stock. Stock of what? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? Right? Israelites. Chosen generation. But ye, Israelites, are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. Let's look at this word peculiar. Right? This is talking about Israelites.
Strong's G-1519, ice, ice. Right, into, unto, towards, for, among, there's a root word, no root word, right? A primary preposition to or indicating the point reached or entered. Toward, for, among, right? Peculiar. You look at the word peculiar in the Hebrew. This is in the Greek. Look at the word peculiar in the Hebrew. Let's get it in the Greek. Salaki in the Hebrew. Peculiar. Peculiar treasure. Right? The most highest treasure. Peculiar. your treasure segula segula possession property valued property peculiar treasure treasure right a valued property israelites a holy nation right first peter 2 verse 9 once again but ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood and a holy nation a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praise of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Right? Let's talk about Israelites, man. Right? Beginning with the elect on this side. Because two-thirds of people going to die death by pain. Right? Because they're, 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 they're not going to repent. Right? But this cup, going back into the subject matter. This cup is going to go on these Idumians. Psalm 79, verse 6. And it reads, Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. Right? All these other nations. The Most High is about to pour out this wrath upon the upon, upon the heat upon these other nations. Verse 7. For they have devoured Jacob, right? Every one of them had a hand in 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 in, in putting Jacob under their foot. Jacob being Israel, Israel being a people for a place. And laid waste his dwelling place. Right, we read in the beginning, uh, strangers of an aliens, strangers have inherited our lands. Right, this cup, Psalm 75, verse 8. Psalm 75, verse 8, and it reads. For in the hand of the Lord Yahweh there is a cup, right? These, these curses, slavery, right? And the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same, but the dregs are of all the wicked, right? Who are the wicked? Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. The border of wickedness. All the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them, right? You Edomites. You're going to drink this cup. Right? You're going to drink this cup. You've done nothing but wickedness. Colossians 3 verse 25. And it reads. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. You Edomites. You're going to receive for the wrong that you've done. And there is no respect of persons. The Most High doesn't care what level you are. What your accolades are, what your accomplishments are, the most I don't care. You're all going to get it. Galatians 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. The most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right? And what did you do? To the apple of the Lord's eye. You touched them, man. read this again galatians 6 verse 7 be not deceived the most high is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth that shall he also reap right you're going to reap what you sow man right you're going to reap what you sow let's close out with the, the staple scripture 
Lamentations 4 verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, you Edomites. Rejoice and be glad. Live it up right now. Right? Live it up in your in, in your heaven. This being your heaven. Right? That dwellest in the land of Uz, America. Uz was the ancient city of uh, Idumia. Right? Like an, uh, so was our Basra. Like an under what? America. Right? The cup also shall pass through unto thee these curses. Slavery. It's going to pass on to you, through unto you. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. You're going to drink it. And you're going to be exposed. Verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is, uh, is, is, is accomplished. Whose iniquity? Israelites. Right? Our warfare is almost accomplished. O daughter of Zion. Right? Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Right? So this is the last captivity, man. Right? And then this cup turns on Edom. Idumia. These ruling class elites. The so-called white man. Right? And Esau. Esau ain't ready. Esau not ready. They're not ready. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.